My name is Raquel Asa, I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at Beep. Beast's approach to autonomous mobility is incredibly unique because we approach it from the standpoint of providing a world-class passenger experience. We ensure service management of our vehicles is to service and reliability of where those vehicles operate. And most importantly, we want to make sure that we manage those vehicles effectively. And of course, in the safest manner so we can truly deliver the impact and provide people that level of connectivity to the goods and services that are right in their own backyard and in their community. So BEEP works with a number of public and private uh, entities. We have fantastic partnerships with the City of Peachtree Corners, Contra Costa Transportation Authority, the Great Jacksonville Transportation Authority, also those within the private sector too. We want to help master plan communities and communities of the future build for the future. And how do you do that? You account for other means for people to get around. And that's why we believe autonomous mobility is really going to change the way people move. Because we're going to change the way people live, we have to change the way we plan those communities for the future. So we have fantastic partnerships both with the public and the private sector. From the public sector, it's the Jacksonville Transportation Authority, Pinellas Suncoast Transit Authority, also the North Carolina Department of Transportation, also City of Peachtree Corners. It's really those types of organizations and agencies that are leaning into this technology that that are testing current generation vehicles so we can ensure what is built in the future really accounts for the needs of what is needed in the future when it comes to moving people. Our project with North Carolina DOT through their CASI program, our first project with them is through the town of Cary, and it's right in Bond Park. We have had tremendous public readiness for that project. We just started in March, we're now coming into the end of April for that project. We have had tremendous ridership and also public adoption of this vehicle. In fact, part of that also includes a survey of the public. We want to ensure what we're doing today is one, what people understand and what they want, and most importantly, do they feel safe in it? And we're finding that across the board with those who ride the vehicle and take the survey. So one of the things that BEAT does when we develop these partnerships is we sit down at the tables with our partners. We want to ensure that not only are we providing the technology and the back end of the software for our services, but we want to make sure that we're addressing the challenges of why they've come to us in the first place. So we ask them, what do you want to connect? And most importantly, we get to understand the why. So once we sit down at the table and understand the key points and key destinations that they want to connect in the community, we sit down, we look at the route. Where is it that we can effectively and safely implement these types of current generation vehicles? Then we develop how often should we run. And then we also adjust the service because what we may see at the very beginning may make sense on paper, but it's one thing to move from paper to practice. So you can't effectively practice properly and safely until you've actually put it on the road. So we actually work hand in hand with our stakeholders and partners to adjust our level of service testing and operation based off of the first couple of weeks of what we're seeing. And that allows us to optimize what we're doing with our partners. So if you've never experienced autonomous mobility before or taken a ride in an autonomous shuttle, it's very unique. But it's actually very accustomed to what we've already experienced when you go to the airport and ride an automated people mover. So you arrive at one of the stops that we've designated along the route, the door open. There's a shuttle attendant on board that says, hey, my next stop is uh, the Senior Community Center over in uh, Bond Park in town of Cary. From there, they board the shuttle. The attendant says, please sit down, fasten your seatbelts. My next stop is going to be the Saratoma uh, boat ramp. So then they take them around the entire route. Sometimes we find that people want to ride it and experience the entire loop. Sometimes they use it as a means to getting from A to B so we can really cut down on either the use of their personal vehicle within a park or within a a community or it gives them the ability to get somewhere faster without having to get in their personal vehicle and find a parking space. So when you look at the level of partnership we have nationally across the United States from California to Florida to Georgia and in North Carolina, one unique project that we have is within the city of Peachtree Corners. So our partnership there in the city of Peachtree Corners allows us to test what should be the new standardization of our vehicles communicating to infrastructure in the environment. So what that really means for the rider who is in the vehicle, we don't want to spend too much time in a vehicle, so that level of testing enables us to ensure that the technology is working exactly like it's supposed to, exactly like it's supposed to, but also cuts down on how much time you're spending in within the vehicle because it allows for signal prioritization. The fewer minutes we can spend in a vehicle, whether it's your own personal vehicle or within our autonomous shuttle, is really our goal when it comes to autonomous mobility and testing these emerging technologies. So all those partnerships that I mentioned are really important for us as an organization and company is because when we create the roadmap of our technology and our software for the future to really provide user experience, service management, and service governance of our vehicles, we need to know
know what the community wants today and what our partners need to create today to make sure that what we provide in the future is exactly what people want. So our current partnerships with North Carolina DOT, City of Peachtree Corners, Contra Costa Transportation Authority, and many entities throughout the state of Florida, including Jacksonville Transportation Authority, allow us to create the roadmap of the future of what they will need in the future.